Hello and welcome to the OpenSAP course OGST 7.0 An Introduction to Downstream Logistics. My name is Anna Henriksen and I'm an SAP Senior Consultant at Implico. This is week 2, Unit 5, and we're going to look at the LPG functionality, how it can handle, help you to manage the logistics processes involved, and selling bottle LPG to end consumers. LPG stands for liquefied petroleum gas. Sometimes it's just referred to as propane or butane. butane. Technically, it's a composition of flammable hydrocarbon gases. For the customer, it's a small pressurized container that can uh, easily be transported and can be used where no other energy supply is at hand or practical. So you can use it in private households for cooking or heating. It can be used industrially or for agricultural machines. And of course, my personal favorite is the hot air ballooning, which wouldn't be possible without LPG. So why do we want to handle LPG differently than a normal good? The answer is because of the containers. You can't transport LPG as a normal good. It has to be in the special small pressurized container. And these containers can have different sizes. They can be used several times. And the most important thing is they have a value in itself. So if you're a company selling LPG, you would want to keep track of these containers. You don't want to just give them away. Maybe you want the customer to pay for them or you want to make sure that they come back to you. So let's look at the, at the setting. So in this case, we'll take a very simplified setting just so that you can get to know the system. For a normal uh, business, it would be a lot bigger, but uh, that's no problem just to multiply everything. So first we have the filling center and we have a bottle depot. And the filling center is where the bottles is filled into the containers. And if we have broken containers or empty containers coming back, they're handled in the filling center. The bottle depot is where the bottle are when they are filled and when they're stored and when they're ready to go out to the customer. Then of course we have one customer. As I said, it's a simplified setting. Uh, one customer that buys the full bottles and returns empty or unused bottles. And we have a truck driver that will deliver the bottles to the customer and bring back the bottles to the company. So we have the master data. Uh, that's important. The customer is set up with normal SD master data and the filling center and the bottle depot are normal plants. So we're using SD master data and MM master data. The LBG specifics come when, when we look at the material. <clears throat> the material LPG always needs to be handled together with the bottle. A bottle can be empty, then there's no gas in it, but the gas needs to be with the bottle. And for this, again, we use standard SAP. We use the bill of material. So you see here, we have the material called OGSD 701, which is the bottle LPG. And we have down here the, the bottle that, or the cylinder in this case, that belongs to this material. So every time we enter this material, we will find that this material comes with it because it has to go with the bottle. That's the most important thing. <clears throat> so a bottle of LPG can feature four conditions. It can be full, it can be empty, and then it can be defective. And it can be defective when it is empty or when it is full. If they will deliver to the customer and something isn't working right, the customer will say, OK, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to give it back. And they should check whether it's working or not. So we have each plant set up with four different uh, storage locations. Because it's it's the same material, we don't change the material number, but due to where the if we take the full storage location, the empty, the damage full, or the damage empty, we know the condition of the bottle. Is it full? Is it empty? Or is it damaged? We have two um, two LPG reports, LPG documents. Uh, one of them is a simple one that's called MM00. That will do only the material postings between the filling center and the bottle depot. There's no sales orders or anything. And then we have the SD00, uh, which I'm going to show you in the system, which handles the sales order and the sales process and the delivery process from the bottle depot to the customer. So 
This is the SCP menu OGSD, which you have seen in week one as well. Uh, and the transactions for the LPG document are found in the OGSD menu. We have the SAP, we have OGSD. Then we have liquefied petroleum gas, LPG report, and these are the transactions. This should be familiar. We have L1 is create, L2 is change, L3 display, and L9 is post. But in most cases, you only need to go into one of them, and then when you're in the transaction, you can navigate. So if you create one, you can go to this change, the display, and as I will show you, you can go to post without having go to go back to the menu and call up this transaction. So now I'll go into the SAP system and show you this. <coughs> Okay, as I said, we have the menu, the OGSD, the liquefied petroleum gas, and the report. So we'll take the ACOMO L1 because we need to create a report. So on the first side, on the first page, we need to put in these data that are valid for the whole report as such. That is the report type. In this case, I want to sell, so we'll take the SD00, the date, the sales organization, distribution, distribution, and the plant. So now I'm in the report, and as you can see here, I can put in the customer and the material, and it's possible in one report to put in more customers. I'll take only one list, but just so that you know that you don't have to call up a report for each customer and each material, you can put in the, the different lines. So I'll take, we'll take in this case, just deliver one full bottle. I want to keep it, keep it simple. Then I will save the report, and that's all that I have to enter. And you see down here, here's a number of the report. The report was saved. So now I need to post it. <clears throat> when I post it, a data collation is created. Again, down here you see the number of the data collation, and if you forget to look down there, you can press here, go expand. And the luck will tell you this data collection report was saved. So I'll open another window and we'll take here the data collection. This is the right number. And then we can take a look at this one. <coughs> and here we have again in the LPG report, I only entered the material OGC 700, but the system knows that oh, this material always comes with a bottle. So therefore, we have two lines, each with the amount of one one amount of gas with one bottle. So I'll go back and then I can post the state of collation report. So, and as you know from the former units, uh, the data collation will create the sales order, the delivery, or post it goes issue. It can do a lot of other things, but in this case with LPG, that's what we do. If we didn't have that, we would have to do everything manually. So the LPG report and the data collation report, we save a lot of time. We can take a look at the collect data collection log in this case. So first, um, create order. Here, yeah, this sales order has been created. And a delivery has been created. And we have here the goods issue, but with a yellow sign. Because we don't want to do it in. This was the first item, that is the, the, the gas. And then the second item, the bottle, is added to the sales order. So now we have the sales order with the both issues, both items. We have the delivery. Yeah, again, it is changed because the bottle is added. And then the system sees, okay, the data collection is finished. There's not going to be any more items of this delivery. So now I can process the goods issue. Um, and we can take a look and go into the sales order. At this point, again, here we have the two materials, the gas and the bottle. And if I go here to the document flow, we'll see it really nice. If you're familiar with SAP uh, logistics, then you know that you have the sales order, you have the delivery, and you have the goods issue. In this case, we also have the data collation to know that the data collection created these, the sales order and the delivery and the goods issue. And if we didn't have the data collection, we would have to do it all manually. So we save a lot of time with, the, with this functionality. Uh, this was the most basic process, so now I'll go 
back to the uh, PowerPoint and show you about the other options. <laughs> so. <clears throat> okay, we saw the simple version now. Again, we have the LPG document with the different types and the different item indicators. As I mentioned, we have two types. The MM00 will only post the movements, will only do material movements, no sales order. Um, so, and we have here down here a picture. I used in the system in the uh, in the system I used only the first one issue full because we're we going to deliver one bottle of gas to the customer. We have another column which is called issue empty, and that might seem strange because there's no doesn't make sense to deliver empty bottles to the customer, and that's also not what's uh, supposed to happen. Uh, this column is used if you want to um, if you want the customer to pay uh, for the for the bottle. Maybe he will deposit like one one dollar, uh, and then he will get them back. And if you want that to be handled uh, um, extra, then you will fill in. Okay, I deliver six bottles, and six times he should pay the deposit, and then he can get the deposit back. <laughs> if you don't need that in your business, then this column is not uh, is not relevant. Then we have four columns here. That's uh, those are the options for returning. So the truck driver, when he gets the bottles from the customer, he will say, "Okay, I got four of them. They're empty. I got one is full. Maybe the customer ordered too much uh, and didn't need all of them. And then he will look if if they are defect, if one of them is broken. And then, as I mentioned, it can be an empty one that doesn't look good, that looks as if broken, and it can, or it can be a full one." And it's not, uh, the material is not changed. The column alone decides in which uh, storage location the bottle will be uh, returned to. So from from this, but depending on where and which column I put the, the amount, the bottle will go back to the right storage location. And if it's broken and full, it will go back to the right uh, location uh, in the plant, and they will check it and see if they can use it again. So, and now comes the maybe two most important columns. These are the IG and IF SNC. Go to the next screen. Those are called the item indicators. Uh, the IG is for the gas and IF is for the bottle because we might have different, um, we might have a lot of different sales processes. The standard one is, uh, is that the, the, the standard one is that the gas has a normal sales process that's the one we saw in the system where a sales order is created, a delivery and a goods issue, and then at some point the customer is built and has to pay for it. But the bottle, the normal process of this default process is the consignment process, which means that we deliver the gas with the bottle and the bottle stays at the customer, but he doesn't pay for it. Instead, he gives it back. And then if you look in the plant and look at, um, uh, then you can see that they are like, uh, we have 100 bottles, but 10 of them are momentarily at the customer's place. That's the consignment process. And it, as you can see here, these are the different item indicators that we have in the system. Uh, maybe you don't want the bottles to be uh, the consignment process, then you would put an IF and say, okay, it has to be S as well, we have to sell them. Uh, or we use a free of charge delivery if we are going to. Yeah, if that's what, what fits us. Uh, and of course, in the MM process, we will use only these M, only the normal goods movement. Of course movement. So, <clears throat> this was a short, uh, short presentation of the LPG. Uh, just to sum up, you know that LPG is a composition of flammable hydrocarbon gases and is transported in small pressurized containers. And that's the most important thing that you have to deal with this in these containers. Uh, with the OGSD LPG functionality, you can take the sale, the data from the sale of LPG and enter one into one line in the LPG document. Then we post the document, it creates a data collection document, which can be posted automatically. You don't have to really set it up, that it can run every 15 minutes. And the data collation document will create the sales order and we'll complete it. We'll take the delivery, the returns, the material movement, the goods received. So it's a lot of, we only have to order to enter 
into one line and everything is doing automatically. So you can save a lot of time and do less errors because you don't have to do both in any other way. So I hope this made you a bit more uh, curious about LPG. Uh, and this concludes week two of our course. Next week you will learn about our new solution for the service stations called Retail View Network Operations and you'll learn about interface. I hope you will have fun. Thank you and goodbye.